The Brief Incident Report, the BIR, answers the three main concerns about collecting discipline data. Number one, reporting an incident takes too much time. A teacher can file an incident report in an average of 30 seconds. The teacher merely selects the student in question, identifies if there is special ed, notes the date of the incident, location of the incident, if physical injuries or property damage occurred, they can record the amount of instructional time lost in managing the incident, and if the incident was gang related. Then the teacher selects from a menu of incidents, assault towards staff, assault towards students, refusal to comply, academic or non-academic, verbal misbehavior, from profanity to just making noises, possession of a weapon, drug possession, drug sale, theft, sexual acting out. The teacher can list a comment for the administrator. They can note if the police were called and any actions taken. And then they can save the report. The moment the report is saved, the administrator receives an email identifying that a certain student has had an incident, providing location, time, and nature of the infraction. When the student is seen in the office, the administrator merely selects the report and is able to review the report while interviewing the student. Once the administrator has determined the course of action, and saves the report, the second concern about incident reporting is addressed. Teachers complain that they are not updated as to the actions taken on incident reports they have filed. The moment the administrator records the action taken, the teacher receives an email informing them that an update has been made on the incident report that they have filed. The third complaint about discipline reporting is that the data is not always accurate nor easily accessible. Administrators can analyze discipline data by a simple click of a button. The time frames can be determined at the top, the beginning date to the end date, and these can be changed to change the parameters. This allows the administrator to be able to view a week, a month, a year, compare week to week, month to month, year to year. Any type of incident can be analyzed by a simple click of a button. If the administrator wants to see where incidents are occurring, merely click on locations. The highest number of infractions appear at the top of the page, to the lowest, and a chart view provided. The administrator can look at the time of day when incidents are occurring, and view from the most frequent to the least frequent, and the chart view provided. Administrators can use this as a training device. They can look at their top reporters and determine if there is a disparity between teachers who report a lot of incidents and the other teachers and determine if training is required. The administrator can drill down and get additional data, for example, suspensions. At the top, the total number of incidents, the total number of days, then students with the highest number of infractions to the lowest, and then the administrator can see every incident per student from the most current to the least current, and a chart view is once again provided. Administrators can also customize their search. They would go to print view reports and determine what they want to see. Let's say the administrator is only interested in seeing students who are males, classified emotionally disturbed, who have been suspended this school year. They only select those items and submit. They will see a comprehensive list of students who are classified emotionally disturbed who have been suspended during the school year. The BIR. It allows schools to address the three main concerns about collecting discipline data. Number one, it takes too long to file an incident report. Teachers can accurately file a report in an average of 30 seconds. Number two, we are not updated when actions are taken. The BIR automatically updates teachers whenever an action is taken. Number three, the data is not always accurate or easily accessible. 
All incidents are recorded in real time and the data is analyzed by a simple click of a button.